today I have some fitness hacks for you guys. Now, I have definitely been there, done that. When you get to the gym and you don't have a hair tie or you're driving in your car on your way home from the gym and then you forget that you have to run three errands and you have no food and you're like, I just worked out and I'm hungry. I have learned over the years a couple of things that have really, really helped me. I'm also kind of weird and I, you'll see with one of the hacks in this video, I actually do it. So all I gotta say is learn to take the stairs in life and the little things add up and, but other than that, let's get into the video. So this tip is actually so incredibly simple, but I have found that this is one of the most transformative things that I have ever done for myself. I keep a packed gym bag in the back of my car with just a workout top, shorts, fitness shoes, socks, sports bra, water bottle, um, some extra headphones, whatever you need to get a workout in. And I have found that I, this literally comes in handy. And man, if I'm driving home from somewhere and the sunset's looking beautiful, I can literally just go for a sunset run because I'm ready or just swing by the gym. It's amazing and I get more workouts in. The next thing is a center console tip. So this is something that has really come in handy over the years. Keep your hair ties in your center console of your car. Obviously this applies if you drive, but this is amazing and this has helped me so much. I also recommend keeping snacks in your car like dried fruit or nuts, seeds, anything like that. Sometimes we'll even put an apple in there and then you'll always have a snack with you when you get back from the gym. Now this next tip is something that I actually do even though it's really silly but it's just kind of to remind you to take the stairs in life and I actually lunge with my grocery bags if you've been watching my vlogs that you, you will know that I've done this for years and so just take take the stairs instead of the elevator make those conscious decisions to get moving. The next thing is to make a killer playlist so I recommend starting out with a slow song for your warm-up and then progressively getting into like faster paced music and then I typically end with like a slower paced song for like a stretch so this is my those are my little playlist tips that I find to be really helpful I definitely get in a tougher workout when I'm having more intense music Another thing is I work at my desk for a lot of the day, for most of the day, or I'm sitting at a coffee shop. So this is something that is so essential and it's very overlooked. Get up and stretch, stretch your legs so much. Literally just take two minutes every hour or every half an hour if you need to and stretch your legs. These are some of my favorite stretches. As you can see, I'm just showing you them. I really recommend this. You're gonna be a lot more flexible. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna increase all the blood flow and you're just gonna feel so much better throughout the day. Okay, so another thing is, this is something I've been doing for years and I've mentioned this before, but if you're new to my videos, sleep in your workout clothes, girl. I know this is weird, but if you have an early morning like hot yoga class or if you have an early morning just workout, just sleep in your yoga pants and throw on your sports bra if it's comfortable enough to sleep in. Roll out of bed, brush your teeth, and get your booty to the gym. This works, people, I promise. Okay, so another thing is, is that my rest days, I used to feel, you know, this is a long time ago, but I used to feel really guilty for them. But I just want you to know that walking around and shopping and just moving, that counts as being active. So no more feeling guilty, no more feeling bad. Give yourself days off and just remember that shopping can be your cardio. You do not need to diet to be healthy. Fill your body with nutritious, wholesome food that makes you feel good. And when you want a treat, eat a treat. So no more making yourself feel guilty or deprived. Eat food that makes you feel happy and good. So one of these tips I actually forgot to film like on a main thing. So I figured I would film it vlog style. One of the things that I've been doing for a while is I really recommend to not actually drink water or drink a lot of fluid when you're eating your meals because the water can actually dilute the naturally occurring digestive enzymes and the stomach acid that digests your food and so when you're eating and you're drinking a ton of water it can dilute that so it can actually slow down your digestive process if you were to just eat your food without all the liquid your body can actually digest that food a lot easier I've read a lot of studies about it but studies aside I have just found that it works for me and I feel so good when I eat my food now um, it's really really actually helped me a lot so I figured it would help you too plus you're just gonna feel better you're gonna have more energy when your food digests well I feel like I just have so much more energy my metabolism is good because you're digesting things and it's just really great so drink your water 20 minutes before your meal and 20 minutes after your meal 20 to 30 minutes before and after that's what I found that really works for me and I hope it works for you too so one thing I want to say before you go is that I while I hope that these tips were helpful for you and I totally do hope they helped you and that you could take something away but 
The one thing that I really want you to take away from this video is another fitness hack that's a little bit different from all the rest and it's something that I've learned over the past few years of going through an eating disorder, going through hating my body, going through overworking out, going through a lot of things that I don't want you to go through and so I just want to say the number one thing that you can do that will really change your life when it comes to fitness and health is to learn to not set your sights and set your priority on looking a certain way and getting your body to look a certain way because I did that and I can say that honestly it's the most defeating thing in the world because your body is so beautiful and it's human it's not perfect I think when you try to manipulate and control your body and restrict and overwork out and do all these things that are actually unhealthy for your body. I think the number one thing that you can do is accept your body right where it's at right now and instead of setting your sights when it comes to health and fitness on looking a certain way and getting a certain body, maybe losing weight, we set such high standards on ourselves. and I think that when you just allow your body to change naturally and when you just take care of your body because you love your body and you actually want to have a healthy body instead of just having a body that looks a certain way that's when true health and fitness become something that you love and instead of it being something that you idolize and you worship and you're obsessed with and you need to look a certain way you just learn to love taking care of your body and so I would say just accept yourself right where you're at right now love your body take care of your body and I say this a lot so I feel like in a lot of my videos but I think it's the most important truth that we can ever learn when it comes to what true health and fitness is and means is that it doesn't mean a destination it means today and it means choosing today that you're gonna be healthy and love yourself right now not in the future when I lose 10 pounds or in the future when I go to the gym five days a week it's it's not a future thing it's a it's a today thing if you enjoyed this video if you liked any of the things that I said or talked about or whatever I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're not already you can click this button right here it's free and I hope to always help you in my videos other than that I am gonna go I feel like I feel like when I say I'm gonna go I should just like turn around and like go but then that's kind of weird, so maybe I shouldn't do that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.